These days when we travel by air, the most important thing is how quickly it will all be over. But you know what they say, it should be all about the journey and not the destination. You know, I think those two French guys had the right idea way back in 1783 when they pioneered hot air ballooning. You can have your super speed jets. If there's only one way you're going to see Ipswich, make this it. Floating Images offers the only tour in town from a height of 600 metres. OK, we're just coming over to downtown Ipswich, the heritage city of, of Ipswich, one of the oldest provincial cities in Queensland. You can see the Bremen River just below in front of us. The hour-long joy flight takes in all of the city sites as well as the surrounding countryside. There's lots of different balloon flights that we can take in South East Queensland. That's correct. What's so special about this one? We like this one because we've got the Dagula Ranges, we've got the Great Dividing Ranges in the distance, and plus we've got the Heritage City of Ipswich, um, its homes, its churches and buildings, and we do that city and country um, to combine together, which makes the difference between the other balloon flights. Now, thankfully for us, this isn't your first. You've been doing this for about 16 years, is yeah, that right? Yeah, I suppose it helps. 16 years. You don't want to hear it's my first time, do you? No, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Up, it's hard to gain an appreciation for just how big these balloons are. We're looking at 10 stories or 31 metres high, 30 metres in diameter and we can travel up to speeds of about 20 knots. As far as direction is concerned, well we are pretty limited steering here. This is about it. We're in the lap of the gods. The balloon travels with the wind, which changes at different altitude and, of course, varies from day to day. So this means no two flight paths are ever quite the same. Well, what goes up must come down, and it's really only at this point, when we're just about to land, that you realise that it simply is an oversized wicker basket. I think we'll be OK. And there we go. Beautiful. The experience is followed with a champagne breakfast at the nearby Sundowner Motor Inn. And I guess the bubbly for breakfast makes that top of the world feeling last for just that little bit longer. If you'd like to experience Ipswich from above, a flight with floating images costs $295 per person. They also offer a package for couples that combines the flight with a dinner and an overnight stay in Ipswich. It's wonderful.